Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest technical interview experience of LTI Mind Tree. So guys, the LTI Mind Tree interviews are starting from tomorrow. So many of you were requesting me, sir, that how to prepare and post previous year interview experience also. So here I am with the video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because every question is important. You will get a fair amount of idea at what type of questions are asked in the interview. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because from tomorrow, lot of interview experiences I will be posting for LTI Mind Tree on this channel. Okay, and guys, do join this Telegram group also because uh, the discussion regarding Mind Tree is also happening here. So be present here so that every update you can get on time. The link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on top mid page we have our important interview IT subject notes. In these notes, total twelve subjects we are covering. For every subject, there are important interview question as well as answer. So if you are preparing for the LTI mind tree, these particular notes will help you in revising the concepts at last minute and also will help you for the last minute preparation. Okay, so this is at a very nominal price of rupees ninety nine. If you are interested and for to for buying this, the links you can check out in the description box. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so this guys, the first question in the interview is always introduce yourself. So guys, if you are following my channel from past few uh, months, so a lot of interview experiences there and TCS also I made. In that, I have clearly said that in introduce yourself, you can include your education background, your skills, your projects, your instant uh, internships. Your extracurricular activities and all these things you can include in your introduce yourself, and it will give a very good impression to the interview. So your answer should be in between one to one and a half minute. So this is a very important question as per the interview is concerned. Okay. So moving to the next question is, what was your favorite subject in B Tech till now? So any subject you can tell, you can tell uh, DBMS also, operating system also, networking also, any subject that you are comfortable in, you can tell to the interview. Next is what programming language do you prefer? So again, anything C plus plus Python, Java, JavaScript, any programming language if you prefer, you can tell to the interviewer. Next question is explain the bubble sort algorithm. So guys, do remember that if you are going for any technical interview, then all the sorting algorithms with their code and time complexities, and all the searching algorithms with their code and time complexities are very much important for the interview. Okay, the question can be asked from that. Okay. Next question is explain polymorphism. So polymorphism in a single line means polymorphism means existing in one or more form. Okay. So next the question was the name the types of polymorphism. So there are two types of polymorphism: compiled time polymorphism and another one is runtime polymorphism. So compiled time polymorphism example will be method overloading. Runtime polymorphism example will be method overwriting. Okay. Now the next question since you have told this definition, so the next question that will be that was asked was. What is the difference between method overloading and method overwriting? Okay, so let's just discuss two differences. So, guys, whenever a difference is asked, whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview, kindly tell at least two differences between method overloading and method overwriting or anything. Okay, so method overloading is I have told you is a compile time polymorphism. Method overwriting is a runtime polymorphism. Method overloading helps to increase the readability of the program. method overloading writing is used to grant the specific implementation of the method which is already provided by its parent class so method overloading occurs within the class whereas method overwriting occurs between two classes okay so there can there should be an inheritance between two classes okay for more method overwriting to happen next is what are different types of inheritances okay not in c++ just just uh, simple but are different types of inheritance so there are five types of inheritance single inheritance hierarchical inheritance multi level inheritance multiple inheritance and hybrid inheritance so guys now these inheritance are general purpose but if they are asked you for specific like in java so in java multiple inheritance is not possible similarly hybrid inheritance is not possible in java so in c++ both of these are possible because of the virtual keyword so, but in java multiple inheritance and hybrid inheritance are not possible okay i hope this is question is clear to you Next is what are constructors and destructors. So constructors are used to initialize the objects, whereas destructors are used to remove, destroy the objects. So this is just a simple one-line definition. Constructors are used to initialize the objects, and destructors are used for uh, destroying the objects. Okay. Next question is write a program to find factorial of a given number. Okay. So guys, you might be thinking that sir, in my entry interview, will the coding questions will be asked? so yes the basic coding questions can be asked from you in the uh, in interview 
so this is the code for finding the factorial of a given number it's a very basic and generic code okay you can take the screenshot screenshot for it and do prepare it for the well okay move on to the next question and again before move to the next question i would like you to know again that we have our important interview it subject notes in which we have covered 12 subjects okay you will when once you will buy these notes you will find that there are commonly and important interview questions for each of these subjects okay we have placed it here so these particular notes what they will do they will help you for the last minute preparation and for revising the concepts so tomorrow also many of you have interviews then if you do not have prepared for it so you can buy these notes and just read the questions out of it that we have mentioned here so for every subject around there are 20 to 25 questions we have mentioned sql queries also we have mentioned and commonly asked coding questions in the interview also we have mentioned okay in these particular notes so it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links you will find in the description box do check them out and they will help you for the last minute preparation okay so don't worry about that so moving to the next question was write a program to find whether a number is prime or not and try to optimize it so again to find a number is it a prime or not but is what are prime numbers first so prime numbers are those which are not divisible by anyone except themselves or one so this is a simple code for writing the prime number again you can take the screenshot for it next is what is the difference between primary key and foreign key so in dbms so primary key is is a unique identifier for each record in a table so if in a table you want need to fetch out the record then primary key is used whereas foreign key so if there are two tables and you want to like fetch uh, you want to generate a relationship between two tables so that happens using the foreign key okay so primary key can be null can't be null sorry cannot be null primary key cannot be null and foreign key can be null okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is what is the difference between drop and truncate command so there is only a single difference between drop and truncate command so once a drop command is used so entire table with its structure is destroyed whereas when a truncate command is used only the data of the table is removed not the structure okay structure remain intact in truncate command and in drop command structure is also destroyed okay so uh, which one is faster so drop command is faster than truncate command okay so i hope this question is clear to you next move into the last question of the this interview was what is the syntax of adding a new row into an existing table so yes some sql queries can also be asked from you and many sql queries which are commonly asked and important for the interview i have already mentioned in these notes so in sql queries also you will find in these notes only okay so to answer this question syntax of adding a new row into the existing table so insert into table name column 1 column 2 so these are the name of the columns then the values that you want to insert in these columns okay so this is the syntax for adding the new row so this was it for this interview so lot of technical questions were asked so all i have discussed here okay many more interview experiences i will be discussing from tomorrow onwards because uh, <clears throat> the interviews are starting from tomorrow so till then do join this telegram group because lot of discussions are happening here the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box and if you are interested in buying the notes which will help you in your last minute preparation so you can buy check them out the buy link is also in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 So guys thank you for watching this video do hit the like and subscribe button for this channel